Welcome back to Gandhi. This may be the penultimate episode, at least. Let me see. Um, let me look at the number of cards. Yeah, I can. I think I can guarantee that we won't see the final campaign card today, and we'll probably see it next time. It's very likely, though. It's actually. It's possible that the card would be, like, the very last lying at the bottom of the deck. I've had this happen a few times. Right, I think I've... Uh, uh, I'm not sure, like, I don't think I've made, like, major mistakes last time. I'll just recalculate something quickly. Uh, how much... how much do... How much do the revolutionaries have? I get no help from the button. We got 10 unrest and we got 5 bases. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, who is on next? Next is the League and what is our event? Ah, we've got the Train Robbery. Let me find the card. Card 23, the Kakori Train Robbery. In 1925, members of the Hindustan Republican Association, later the Hindustan Republican Socialist Association, card 44, robbed a train on the Sharanpur to Lucknow line near Kakori in United Provinces. Some 40 were arrested in connection with the robbery, and four were eventually convicted and hanged in 1927. Alright, and this is an event that is... Actually, everyone but the revolutionaries is... Uh, playing straight, playing unshaded. Uh, but first, let's see what the League is going to do. The League is going to do... Operation and Special Activity. Ooh. Next card is actually a critical event for the Raj. And they will be there to play it. Wait a sec. Restraint should be here. Yes. Okay, what is the League doing? Any underground guerrillas in Muslim spaces? Yep. Okay, die roll. Five of them in jail and one of them here. So, yeah, I guess. Place bases. You don't have any bases. So, like spaces using place activists. And this one lucky guy is going to West Bengal. Okay, g good luck to them, whatever they're planning to do. But uh, they, cannot, they cannot place any more because they run out. And now they're going to release some activists. They're going to release, release a die roll of activists. Muslim League plus Congress from jail to available. Let's see how much they roll. Wow. Lucky bastards. All my work gone. Crap. All right, what's going to be their special activity? Negotiate a place. Oh, come on, guys, this is getting old. Wait a second, they cannot negotiate it in West Bengal because they just placed a guy in West Bengal. Okay, that's that's uh, luckily that's not a problem, and they cannot do it here in Punjab because. They do not exceed, the Muslim League pieces do not exceed uh, Congress pieces. So we are actually pretty lucky here. And instead they're going to persuade to activate guerrillas. That's interesting. There are only two spaces where they can actually do this. It's Punjab and East Bengal. They don't have an activist here, but they're allowed to do it because it's any space with Muslim League pieces. So they can do it because there is a base. Alright, so that kind of shields them a little from the revolutionaries' activities. And that's Operation and Special Activity done. Next, we... We're on. And let me, let me just see what this does. Okay, I like setting Restraint to 2, because that means I don't have to do anything to set Restraint to 2. And the Restraint is already at 2. So I could see what this event does. I'm checking specifically whether I can undermine Raj Control in some way, somewhere. By the way, there should not... Oh yeah, they activated this guy, there should not be Raj Control in Punjab anymore. This is good news. Because they won't be able to flip Punjab. I'm not sold on the event either way. 
the Raj is pretty high in uh, victory points, and the revolutionaries are outright winning, so I don't actually want them to... Okay, I'm going to do some operation. And I might even know what. We can do this. We can start a protest in Bihar. Remember when we went to Bihar and how this ended up a total disaster? Well, we're doing it again. Alright, we're done. Next card. Second round table conference in London, card 27. The events of 1930, including the Salt March, card 55, and Dharasana Raid, card 12, led to the Second Round Table Conference in 1931. The Gandhi Urban Pact earlier that year, Card 2, helped guarantee Gandhi's participation. Hopes that the talks would lead to a power sharing between British and Indian leaders were soon dashed, as political and ethnic divisions among both sides precluded real change. Okay, so this is a complete waste of time, but this is a critical event for the Raj, and the Raj is going to pick it. Set Restraint to 2, doesn't do anything. Set two spaces with Raj control to passive support. Uh, this is going to be bad. Okay, so we've got United Provinces, Bombay Presidency, Madras Presidency, and West Bengal. Okay, priorities are two pop, no protest, unrest. Are any of these at unrest? Yes, it's Bombay Presidency. Okay, we got lucky here. Oh, wait, it's United Provinces too. Okay, these two are going to be hit. Most opposition... Ah, shit. All our work undone. Okay, what are the revolutionaries going to do? I hope they... I hope the revolutionaries blow something up. Oh, wait, they're going to be first on the next card. First eligible on upcoming card, pass. They're going to pass. Well, that round table conference didn't last long. Okay, card 43, Textile Workers' Strike. The 1928 general strike of 150,000 textile mill workers in Bombay raised the possibility that the growing communist movement may join the independence movement. Ultimately, this was prevented by harsh government crackdowns and communist leaders' unwillingness to align with the nationalist cause. Let's see what the revolutionaries are going to do now. Guerrillas exceed unity in any spaces without a revolutionary's base. Well, unity is in a shitter, yes, but you're not going to place a base. Any underground guerrillas without unrest? Yes. Don't do unrest. Unrest. Shit. Oh, by the way, since they're going to do unrest, unrest is going to shift restraint down by one. When it happens, India is going to go into a crisis again. And what happens when India goes into a crisis again? Well, the Raj gets to move another dry roll of troops. Oh, by the way, I think I... Yeah, I did something silly off camera. Yeah, the Raj is going to move another dry roll of troops from out of play. Let's do this... Unrest thing. What's the activation number? Oh, this is the one. This is the one where the activation number is restraints. Luckily, they've already activated most of their guerrillas with, um, you know, attacking everywhere. We got sort of lucky, they get they get tired of unrest. Now let's see what they're going to do next. Uh, they, yeah, they've placed unrest here and here, that increases their VP by 3. And now, special activity, assassinate one adversary among unrest spaces. Ooh. Right, so we've got unrest in East Bengal, Madras Presidency, and where else? Rajputana. Okay, Rajputana is in the clear. It's not going to be assassinated. 
in the East Bengal or Madras Presidency. It's going to be East Bengal. And they're going to... They're going to assassinate any one act of peace. Unity minus one if non-violent removed. Yeah. Uh, the thing about this, uh, about assassinate, is that it... Um, it doesn't care about the base being defended by, you know, activists or the troops being defended by sepoys. Assassinate just straight up removes a piece to available. So they could have destroyed the base even if there were some activists here. Okay, so that base is gone. The unit is supposed to drop by one. It's not going to because... And restraint goes down by one because this was an unrest stop. Right? Am I doing this right? And shift restraint minus one. Yep. Okay, let's see how much troops the Raj gets now. Four. And now I get to pick where all of these troops go. Okay, I think I got it right. They wanted to go to... to be dropped in a space with no control, two pop and fewest active adversaries, so there are only three here. First they, first they went to Madras Presidency to control there, and next East Bengal, where there are only three guerrillas. Also, they don't like spaces with protests for some reason. So, it's here. And the Raj is, just like the revolutionaries, is in... is going for the win. Crap. But wait, that was actually just revolutionaries operation and special activity. What's coming next? Well, next comes the turn of us. Can I do something here? Can I do anything here? Now, to do spaces with protest and or unrest markers, replace up to two guerrillas in each space with activists. You know, I could do something to this, to this effect. I could remove guerrillas from... Well, first of all, I could take out this guy. I could put my uh, people into Bombay Presidency. It actually kind of sounds nice. Okay, let's, yeah, let's play the event. I'm going to replace these two. It's a space with a protest marker. And I am going to do it, maybe Punjab? I mean, it'll be all, I'll be removing only one gorilla, but... You know, I could, I could be silly and actually put more of my activists than troops in Delhi, but I don't think it's a good idea. Now, I need some presence in the United Provinces. Okay, I'm going to remove this guy and replace that guy with one guy from Bihar. I am allowed to do this. Because I'm human and not a bot. Alright, that's the turn. Card 62. Oh my... Holy crap, look at this, it's, it's a critical event for everyone. Alright, card 62, Great Bengal Famine. One of the terrible tragedies of the 20th century. Three million people were killed by the famine and spread of disease from 1943-1944. The causes of disaster remaining controversial to this day. Many blame British war crime policies, such as those meant to deny Japanese forces in Burma access to resources, while others blame population growth and crop failure due to natural disasters in 1942-43. Three million people. Okay, this is, this is a critical event. They're going to play it. The League is going to play it, and the League is going to do what? It's going to do a shaded part. In two spaces with Raj control, either set each space to passive opposition or add one unrest marker to each. Well, they're going to be setting those spaces to passive opposition. They're going to be Muslim spaces, they're going to be Muslim two-pop spaces, I can tell you that. So, one space I already know, it's going to be this one. And the other space is going to be... Oh, I know. Muslim space with Raj control, Karachi and Calcutta. We can actually flip a city to opposition, that, that's rare. I mean, they can't do it here because it, it doesn't do anything. 
They're not going to do it in Punjab because there is no Raj control. Okay, Karachi or Calcutta? We're rolling for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it? Wait a second. Muslim League victory points 10. No, 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 no. This is a Muslim space. This. This actually looks like a bug in a module, in a points collecting module. Don't blame them. It's possible. It's probably very rare for any points to be you know, to be awarded for Karachi to be flipped to opposition anyway. I think it should be eleven. Yes, it should be eleven. Now, what is the Raj going to do? How is the Raj going to respond to the Great Famine? Is it going to beat the shit out of people? Any two pop spaces at active opposition? Yes, Punjab actually. Cubes exceed active non base adversaries in any two pop spaces. In Punjab, yes. And. East Bengal, too. Yeah, it's going to be a beating. Assault. Does my Vice Roy have any ability for assault? No, it doesn't. He doesn't. Right, let's see what they're going to do with their assault. Okay, I think at this point the Raj has assaulted literally everywhere it could. Though, funny thing, at no point did it restore any control. So that's... that's nice. Right. Now, what's going to be the special activity? Govern to remove protest. No, you cannot do this. Imperialism. Oh, crap. Is the Raj going to win? I, I don't want that. But it might. Oh, and it got the highest die roll. Okay, it's going to pick two spaces where it can do some shift to support. Okay, we got lucky that it burned through four points of its uh, shifting in East Bengal, trying to get uh, getting rid of two unrest and shifting it, uh, flipping it, and now looks like it's going to be Madras presidency. Because the the Raj does prioritize unrest when it's uh, when it's removing when it's when it's doing imperialism. Uh, this means that uh, the revolutionaries had just lost um, how much? Four victory points. And the Raj is a clear leader. Next card, card forty, 1939 Defense of India Act. Eager to quell the type of revolutionary activities that had spread in India during World War I, card 20, the Raj government passed the Defense of India Act soon after the start of World War II. It gave British authorities additional wartime powers that were used during the Quit India movement, card 36, resulting in the arrest of 60,000 people within the first weeks of civil disobedience. This is a critical event for... For us. Hey. Do we do it? Let's see what it what it actually does. Shift restraint plus two. Shift any two spaces, each one level towards active opposition. Oh, I do like this. Yes, I do like this. Okay, let's let's play the event. Let's agitate. What's this? Refusal to aid Britain against the Axis. Yeah, India kind of got thrown into World War II for... Ag against its own wish. Oh, by the way, crap, I forgot about these two. I need to do these. Okay, one of the protest markers is going live in Punjab. And the other... I'm going to drop... Why not? Let's do Bombay Presidency. Now I, I get to shift. What do I get to shift? I get to shift two spaces, each one level towards active opposition. Why, yes, I do want to do this. I'm going to shift United Provinces. And I'm going to shift... Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's shift Bombay Presidency. 
Now these two spaces are neutral and the Raj has just lost four points. And Gandhi is in jail. Well, well. Now the revolutionaries. Operation and special activity. Any guerrillas in Tupop spaces with no unrest? Yeah, one. Underground guerrillas in 2 plus 2 pop spaces with no unrest. No, you, you actually don't have that many underground guerrillas. Flip. 8 to go underground in 2 spaces. Oh. Okay. I see what they're doing. And now they're going to... Unrest. Really? Okay. Let's... Let's see them... Let's watch them do unrest again. But this time the activation number is 3. And the revolutionaries are in the lead again. They do get quite unstoppable by the end of the game. Next card, card 17. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was a devout student of Gandhi's methods of non-violence from Peshawar in northwest frontier province. He left the Kudai Kidmatgars, card 39, in their active, non-violent resistance to British rule in northwest India. Although a Muslim, he remained closely aligned with Congress and was a fierce opponent of partition. He spent much of the 1950s and 1960s under house arrest in Pakistan and after his death in 1988 was buried in Afghanistan. The League is going to go first and it's going to go with Operation and Special Activity. Any available protest markers? No. Oh, by the wait. I should have put restraint down after that unrest op, so yeah, actually there are. Any Muslim League activists in spaces without protest? Yes. Yes. Okay. Civil disobedience. Okay, I like this. First they're going to do it in West Bengal. And a special activity is going to be Negotiate. Is it going to be Negotiate, though? Yeah, the next event is critical for the Raj, so the League should have just played... played just the operation without special activity, so that the Raj cannot do the event. Will be first eligible? Yes, it's going to pass. Card 4. Simon Commission Report Published. The Indian Statutory Commission, known popularly as the Simon Commission after its chairman John Simon, was formed in 1927 to assess possible constitutional reforms that would give Indians greater representation in government. Though eventually leading to the 1935 Government of India Act, Event 29, the Commission was vocally criticized for not including any Indian members. Widespread public protests were organized across India, which sometimes turned violent. Event 47. Yeah, I just read this in the book, in Insurgent Empire. They just mentioned this. Yes, they formed a committee on how to make Indians represented in the government by not including any Indians. Right, this is a critical event for the revolutionaries, so the Raj is not going to let them do it. They're going to... They're going to play Operation only. Any two pop spaces at active opposition? No, no. Six plus cube total in protest spaces. Three. Okay, yes, six, yes. Any protest spaces without activists? Protest spaces without activists? No, no. Oh, it's going to beat the shit out of us, right? It's going to deploy. 
Die roll less or equal number of available troops. Yeah, I don't think I need to check that. It's going to deploy. How adorable. It's going to deploy this late in campaign, as if that's going to help anything. And we get lucky, it cannot deploy sepoys anymore, so they're just going to Delhi. That's unfortunate uh, for the Raj. And that's deploy done, and it's not going to do anything else. Now the revolutionaries are... they're locked out of their special event. They're locked... they're not going to be first on, so they're going to do a limited operation. Please tell me it's going to be something other than a shit ton of unrest. Any gorillas in two-pop spaces with no unrest? Game? No, no, they're all dead. Six plus gorillas in India. Barely, okay, yes. What is the operation? Die roll. Yeah, they're going to oh yeah, they're going to rally, right? They're going to rally. Okay, they rallied. That's it for the card. Okay, they did not place unrest, so I don't need to drop this. Card sixty. Seven. The, the final campaign card is hiding somewhere here, so... Uh, should we play this one now? Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop here. I need to recalculate the points. So the situation right now is... Uh, we're in the shitter. The League is also not doing so well. The Raj is... Kind of barely holding on to some semblance of control in India. But the revolutionaries are totally making the country explode. They're very good at it. Next time we'll see if... well, they, if they actually win. So looking very likely.